Hi, people. I'm Taco Salchu, which you should know by now, and this is Company Heroes Too Much, and we're watching a OKW as J for Jet versus Nintendo. So this is a top-ranked auto match uh, game right now. I'm streaming at Twitch. Dot, Jesus TV slash Taiko uh, You should totally hang out there. Follow me on Twitch if you're not already following me on Twitch. Subscribe to me on YouTube if you're not already subscribed to me on YouTube. Uh, send me all your worldly possessions if you haven't already sent me your worldly possessions. Don't actually do that. Only send the stuff I need. And to be frank, I don't need a lot of stuff. I could maybe use a real nice blender. I have an immersion blender, but not like a straight up blender blender. I got a magic bullet a friend gave me, but it's not a very powerful blender. Um, what else do I need? It's pretty much, it's pretty much it. Um, Sophie Andrew says, the snack that smells bad goldfish. So yes, Twitch chat is currently aflame with the news that I don't eat snack foods. I only eat like real meals, basically. Some doubling up on the capping right here, not a great choice. Um, I don't eat goldfish because I'm vegan and goldfish are not vegan. Um, yeah, I think snacks are basically a waste of money. Um, that's uh, that's my that's my sort of that's my position on the snack kind of the, the snack topic. J for Jet building uh, Fox Grenadiers. I'm assuming uh, I can't actually see because my recording indicator covers that up, but the the amount of manpower lost uh, suggests yes, Fox Grenadiers is being built, so we don't have Koopa Spam. Not that I need to tell you that you're you're definitely smart enough to realize we don't have Koopa Spam if uh, you can see for yourself. I should save my voice for more important tactical considerations. Like, why are these people uh, um, not fighting? It's because they're capping. Reinforced steel barricade complete. Good. Oh, let's look at these things. Hmm, this one's strange. Firestorm doctrine. Very strange. Rarely see that at the Fahrenheit 421. Breakthrough doctrine, pretty standard. Fucking shitty Lufava. Here we got a cutoff going. Counterattack. Mmm, this one's a bit strange. It's a little weird. Boring. Boring. Okay, but good. Each each player has a weird doctrine. I'm uh, I'm satisfied. I feel I feel good. Woo 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 woo. Just like I knew that I would. And these guys are fucked. Oh god, I would hate to be these combat engineers. Look at them. I'm just I gotta look away. Ah, uh, that's just so bad. And a nice sandwich going on with these folk surgeries too. So the German player, I think, is going to be feeling pretty good about the prospects of this game. Two minutes and 51 seconds in. Anybody in Twitch chat who bet on the German player to win? Uh, oof, actually, this is taking a lot of damage now that there's some common scripts here. So this is going to have to drive out. Well, stop moving it is the thing. If you can just stop moving it and get a good burst on conscripts, actually, things are working out anyways. The combat engineers are here, though. That's a good move by the Russians, keeping the combat. And hopping them into the building, even a better move. Um, I don't know where the other folks are just interesting that the folks are just decide to stop fighting so there kills the Kubewagen suddenly a huge reversal of fate for the uh, Germans number one losing the Kubewagen number two deciding to decap this thing cut off um, cut off I think was a bad choice the fuel is already in your possession as the Germans so that's not important what's more important is killing these conscripts so that they don't stick around if you can kill them the squad obviously that's tremendous if you can just force them off they aren't going to be able to decap your fuel you did stop the decap anyways but there's no way you really could have known that was going to work so it's important to uh, I think get those conscripts out of there. This cutoff is not getting anything cool. You're going to lose the cutoff pretty soon. Getting this cutoff is kind of interesting, but it doesn't really matter. What you want is to reestablish supply lines here. That's going to take a while. I think that's going to just going to take patience. I think the German is showing uh, remarkable patience and not running back and trying to establish. Oh, the cutoff. And there's a conscript squad down. So both players about even. Um, Cooper back in a bit cheaper than the conscript squad, but uh, they've both taken heavy losses. Who's talking in Twitch chat? Uh, Sophia Andres says, can I add you on Steam if I don't already have you on Steam? Sorry, I don't friend people on Steam who I don't know, just because, uh, I already have 48 pending Steam friend requests, and that was, um, that's just gonna get bigger, so, um, I can't friend everybody. You can join the Steam fan club if you want to hang out with me on Steam. If you scroll down on the Twitch TV page, you can find a link to the Steam fan club, so I definitely encourage everybody to join that if you want to hang with me on Steam. These guys could be slightly behind some cover, but they aren't, um... Evil Triple says, GG, well played, Soviets. No, no, not GG, well played, Soviets. They've lost a conscript, but the other people have lost a cool wagon, so it's totally even at this point. Uh, Soviets got some nice cutoff here, but paid for it with no map control from the left hand part, so it sort of doesn't matter. And uh, it's all just a fucking mess right now. Maxim coming out too. 
pushing off the stern pipes. That's a nice uh, push off too, because those stern pipes really would like to cap the middle, maybe, or try and cap the left hand side. I guess these people are capping the left hand side, so that doesn't really matter. Why did I move the camera so much right there? That probably gave everybody a fucking uh, throw up or something. And these guys tried to stay behind the green cover, I suspect, for a while, but it really wasn't enough for the maximum at maximum range, which is a little surprising, but uh, that's life. That's life. What you gonna do? That's life. What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys. Bad boys. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Just mashing up some catchy songs right there. Here's this thing. It's got a little, uh, it's got a big old fuel barrel. It says Fjord... Fjörgefallerlich. I can make the German noises. <laughs> See? It's because I'm Jewish. Um, I just can't read it because it's fuzzy. So what's uh, what's going to come out here? Is it going to be a Panzer II? It's probably going to be a Panzer II. Repair Pioneers. Did you always have to upgrade these guys? Showing how little I know about this game. Evil Turbo says Luke's arrow GG. Yup. Um, oh, Sherlock says, about even, four folks, one stern versus two conscripts, one NG. That's not even a contest. Well, look, there's Maxims. So, yeah. But yeah, I think we can reasonably expect a Luke's fucking to be coming out uh, once the fuel is on the field. So, yep, bop, 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 right as I clicked it. The person clicked it, and uh, uh, what were they doing? Were they building something? Did they lay this wire right now? That's very strange. You lay that wire under fire. Uh, wire under fire is a very dire something. I can't rhyme something with that, but I, I feel like I did pretty good. All things considered, Max manages to set up and catch the Fox Radiators and suppress the Fox Radiators, and now there's the conscripts, and that's pretty good. It means the Soviets going to, oh, no, actually I can't kept that because those engineers were retreating. That was a nice grenade. Right here, Soviet, I think, is microwing somewhere else, manages to finally move these people, but that's not the direction they really want to be going because this is just farther behind enemy lines. They're going to be cut by these fox readers coming out of the uh, base if they stick around, and if they don't stick around, them as well have just retreated, I suspect, although it looks like they're going to try and get the cutoff. We'll see how that works out uh, for them. Nice maximum usage here, still fighting off some uh, Fox Raiders, so good job on the Soviets there. These conscripts even getting some kills, I really wasn't expecting that for the Fox Raiders. I suppose I should have been able to predict that, but now that they're sandwiched, uh, they got a retreat, and that was actually worth it, I guess, to get the cutoff, because um, it means there's not going to be, even when the Fox Raiders, if the Fox Raiders had kept this thing back, they wouldn't have been able to establish the uh, linkage to the fuel on the right. So here's the Luke's wagon, which I apologize for not showing you earlier. It's been rampaging, killing a couple people forcing mass retreats from the Soviet side. Nothing surprising there. Everybody could predict this coming out even if they had never played Captain Heroes 2 in the first place because I told them it was coming. I told them it was, oh, shoot this thing while it's being built. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, shoot fucking tier three. Shoot the tier three. You can do it. You can do it. Why are you running away? What are you scared of? What are you scared of? What is going on here? Oh, oh, oh. could have shot the tier three. And there's a fairly non-minimal chance you could have killed tier three right there force the opponent to stop building at least and they waste a lot of time uh and you really want to be stopping no oh, look at that retreat block oh oof, hate to see that fucking pathfinding fucking path fucking pathfinding holy shit holy shit holy shit my friends holy shit my friends that's the second worst retreat i've ever seen in company heroes 2 the first worst retreat you can watch one of my previous videos like two or three or four videos ago um jesus cost him the maxim that's so ugly. That's so ugly. Okay, grab the Maxim. Jesus. Jesus. This could t suddenly turn into a German game. Just. Oh. I just get out. That's crazy. Ah. Uh, oh. Hmm. Crazy, though. Here's the, this. Yeah, I really would, would love to. I think you had a chance of killing that. Uh, not literally killing, but getting it so low that the opponent just stops building it and then that sets back their tech. The Why do people pick Luftwaffe ground forces? 
Here we have some Fosha Magers, and they're actually being used to good effect. Manages to hold on to this fuel, so that's uh, actually rather important in the grand scheme of things. That's going to really slow down the Soviet teching up to the T-70, which is the natural Luke's counter. That's the in the wild, the Luke's main predator is the T-70 light tank. You may be surprised to learn, but uh, that is indeed what what goes on. Uh, what goes on in my heart? What goes on in my mind? You were tearing me apart because you treat me so unkind. What goes on? in my mind is the Beatles song that I'm uh, referencing right there. If you've never heard that one, look it up. I believe it's called What Goes On. And like every other Beatles song, it's good. Like literally every Beatles song, it is a good song. The Beatles do not have, except for maybe that Revolution song. Uh, not the you talk about revolution, oh, 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 but rather the Yoko Ono one that's just fucking like weird and shit. Not like I hate weird shit, it's just, I don't, if there's a bad Beatles song, that's the bad Beatles song. There's also the Sgt. Pepper's, uh, um, orchestra sort of stuff on Yellow Submarine, which is not great, except for flying, I like flying. Is this making any sense to anybody? I'm sure it is, people know the Beatles pretty well. And if you don't, you should, because all their stuff is good. And here we have an airplane in its natural habitat, the Company Heroes 2 video game. Twitch chat being a little quiet. Evil Triple says Sergeant Pepper is overrated. Well, I didn't say Sergeant Pepper is the best, I said every Beatles song is good. I don't care if Sergeant Pepper is overrated, fucking Revolver and Rubber Soul are underrated. Because they are the best. Abbey Road, pretty good. And all that early stuff too. All the early stuff is good with the Beatles. Good stuff. Good stuff. These guys are just getting owned by these Fushmakers. The guy can't even get on the fucking gun long enough to shoot anybody before the Fushmakers kill him. FT-42s don't fuck around at long range, guys. Uh, although now here's another Maxim, so we're going to get to test that. This time with nobody uh, even in range, it looks like, and maybe not a lot of uh, windows to fire back. Oh, this actually does have a ton of windows on this side, so I don't know why they're not doing that. They're just out of range, I suppose. Uh, but the Lux is here, so it doesn't matter. Wow. M5 half-track. I wouldn't have predicted that, guys. It's building an anti-air package affectionately known as the meat chopper. Uh, yeah, really wouldn't have predicted that, because that's gonna do fuck all versus the Panzer II. So this is just the Soviet players like, you know what? You know what? Panzer II... Fuck the Panzer II. I don't give a shit about your Panzer II. I'm just gonna kill all your infantry, cap the whole map, and ignore the Panzer II. Uh, Zombie Francis. Yoko Ono jamming with Lenin and Chuck Berry is the best. Evil Tribo, Yoko Ono, original re. I thought that was actually fine. If you look up that YouTube video, Yoko Ono, Chuck Berry, Lenin, and Yoko Ono is just doing some weird ass shit. I guess the, le the, the story about that was it was actually at like a weird thing where you're supposed to like do weird experiments and stuff. Chuck Berry is like, what the fuck is she up to? But um, Chuck Berry is, let's be honest, kind of a regressive piece of shit. I think he uh, he performs at Blueberry Hill, this, uh, this sort of a cafe in uh, St. Louis. Is still, even though he's like a million years old, but he's sort of you know, still milking it. And I guess he had, like, fucking cameras set up in the bathrooms there, the women's bathrooms, to, like, fucking spy on women, because he's an old fucking pervert. Uh, so Chuck Berry has some issues. But good music, though. Good music. Best part of uh, Back to the Future 2. Not Back to the Future 2, but Back to the Future also is what I mean. Mucky Ducky says the main sucks. I don't know what that means. <laughs> don't know what that means at all. Now we finally have a T-70 coming out, thank the lord, uh, about time, uh, AT gun doing kind of the only thing it can help to do until it catches the Panzer II, which is nail a trench, I guess? Very bizarre. Uh, Luftwaffe being used, J for jet, uh, using the, using the trench, surprising. This thing, uh, doing better than I would have thought, with, especially with just one kill, is, uh, really buying the Soviets a lot of, uh, space versus all this infantry. Light tank ready for orders. There we go, folks. Look at this cutie. Look at this cutie patootie. Cutie patootie. You gotta kick some booty. Now the question is, will it find its arch nemesis, the Panzer II? Or will the Panzer II find it? Or uh, will some third uh, actuality eventuate? Eventuality actuate? 
I think I just made up four words right there. Um, oh, oh, double conscripts, double uh, Urang to double AT grenade this thing to lock it down so that the T-70 come in. But, surprise, surprise, there's some Shreks here, so the T-70 is going to have to worry. But with the help of the ZSU, M17, MGMC, maybe we can kill the stuff. But these guys are going to be able to repair this shit, so it's, we're really on a timer here for the Soviets. And instead, the vehicles are leaving changes their mind showing their rear is very strange very strange indeed don't know what to do about this we're looking pretty good for uh, infantry by the way if you're looking in the upper left the germans really getting some getting a lot of getting a lot of things aa half track has been uh distracted for a moment but now it can shoot at its no no i was gonna say shoot at its natural enemy the airplane but no there's more stuff on the ground this this moving way too far forward why are you so far forward zis mm, at gun it turns out to potentially pay off because if you get one more shot than panther 2 you could kill uh oh they miss that was a bad miss that was a miss you really didn't want but uh, actually the soviet infantry and light vehicles, there's enough around here to push on in, because uh, the German kind of doesn't give a shit. German's busy on the rest of the map, but also there's Soviet infantry down here. So if this machine gun gets set up, oh, really feeling the hurt, losing this Maxim machine gun to the enemy, because now what would have been a really nice assault here it turns into, uh, I guess, a stalemate, because they both have Maxims. Uh, Soviet's still going to win this, it looks like, although at the cost of a lot of conscripts if they stay close on in. Good retreat right there. So Soviet's still going to win this, but much slower than you would have preferred to win this. So it's going to be a while till they can get back to that fuel point on the left and cap it. Um, Mucky Ducky says, there we go, I said they suck. Like I said, who, who sucks? What does, who sucks? Explain to me what main is. Who sucks? Um, oh man, look at this. Just chasing them down in the retreat. Get some good damage in there. Meat chopper. Chop that meat. Mmm, yeah, meat going down, down, down to downtown. So Soviets are in a much better position than you would expect, sort of looking at the force distribution. Doing pretty good on the map control, uh, doing pretty good on choosing the fights. This fight down here, very briefly uh, stopped by the Maxim, but now the Soviets have broken through, getting some good uh, AT guns set up here and Maxim set up, so potentially going to be able to catch the Panzer II riding dirty, although the T-70 really hurt. Uh, if the half-track and the T-70 go down, this would be bad, but here's... The AT gun could get actually decrewed by these folks if the Maxim, the Maxim, I don't know why it's heading to the left, that's a real bad choice. It's suppressing these guys so they retreat, but it's not enough, you need to suppress both of them. Conscripts are going to come in and be able to recruit this, so that's not the worst thing in the world. And actually, oh, they merge into it. Good, so you get to keep the vet. That was a good merge, so that you don't have to worry about the AT gun being decrewed and losing that vet. Um, Germans doing a good job recapping things on the right there on Holt Fire. Interesting. You want to untoggle that when you're not just uh, in uh, uh, cover and cloaked, which is what the folks over here can do. And I think we have to settle in for a long shoutcast here, folks, because I don't know. Uh, I guess we're only 18 minutes in. It seems like it's been much longer because my perception of time is like irrevocably warped by all the horrible things I've done to myself and to other human beings over the years but uh twitch chat just seems to have quieted down there's still a lot of people there they just all seem very uh very uh very 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 mellow very mellow twitch chat i just want to reach out and stroke them like a cat i want to give my voice a break burn motherfuckers i can only give my voice a break for like two seconds until my uh my incessant need to chatter kicks in. Here comes the safety gun. Is it going to get a shot? Oh, man. That was a curveball, but it does get a shot. And along with the uh, concert grenade in, this could be curtains for the uh, Panzer II. Yep, here comes the 270 to finish that fucker off. It would be nice to see the AT gun reposition. I guess finally. Uh, I guess so. Here's the T-70. Yep. Uh, walking in. The half-track knows that it's not going to be the number one target, so it can just show up. Um, and actually turns out to be the number one target, but it doesn't matter. That's the end of the Panzer II, so looking pretty good for the Soviets all of a sudden. Um, I know, again, the Germans have all this infantry, but recall that uh, the Soviets, with the uh, meat chopper plus the T-70, have some pretty good anti-infantry on uh, their side. Mucky Ducky says, by main, I mean your focus player. I don't know who the fuck that is. Is that the Soviets or the Germans? Lord, if I know. And neither of these players suck. They're the number one ranked auto match right now. They both know what they're doing better than either of us, I suspect. 
T70, part T70 gets Faust. That was a weird Faust. Uh, it is pretty close to your lines, so the idea is maybe you snare it and then you bring up the, uh, the Rakatenwerfer, but number one, the Rakatenwerfer first has to recruit. Number two, uh, it, it's enough of a distance away that you suspect the T70 can just leave. And number three, uh, there are pretty close by engineers that I'm not sure he knew, but he could have maybe intuited because uh, you're not getting decapped on the right. Enchanted by the game, says Sherlock. That's why the people are so quiet in Twitch chat. Could be. Could be. How's the safety gun doing health-wise? Basically full. Uh, you look at the, uh, the, uh, the weapon health, which finally Relic added to the game. Thank the lord. These guys, I feel like, haven't moved in a while. They used to be Fosh Makers, so I s suppose there was some movement there. But now we have a Maxim set up, pinning these people in. These guys just get known by folks videos, weirdly. Um... Can't remember for cloak, that's good, that's important, but it's getting close, which is bad. Now it's been de cloaked, that's really bad, that's really bad. They know where the can't remember is, it's even suppressed, the conscripts are gonna have an easy time shooting it, and there's not even any vehicles for it to fucking shoot, so that's just bad. You need your can't remember in tippy toppy shape, because you need it to be able to respawn ASAP to these sorts of things, which are right here over on the right, which now you realize. Um, but on the plus side, Maxim de crewed. Um, Looks like not going to get recruited unless he wants to give up an engineer squad. Boof. Boof. We have a mortar coming out. Not even a 10. Oh, Jesus. They drop the flamethrower. The folks right here is coming to grab it. This is all falling apart for the Soviets. Soviets making some good progress with these vehicles over here. Actually, not killing a lot of people now. Maybe it's killing some people. But um, pushing people off the map, but really paying for it on the left. Uh, this may have been a mistake, moving these vehicles over to the right. I am often an advocate of sending vehicles over to the right to pin, or to uh, push some infantry off, get some map control back. But that's typically when you're worried about, like, AT guns or something, or when you can't make an attack that you want to make an attack. This is a case where the Soviet player needs to defend, and I'm not really a fan of abandoning your defense to send your uh, tanks over to some side of the map. We're in, up in the boondocks when it means being sort of collapsed over here and losing a lot of stuff, honestly. Losing a max and losing an engineer squad. Losing two engineer squads. Can't even repair your vehicles. That's just bad news. That's bad news. Um, what did people say in Twitch chat? Mucky Ducky? The yellow? You're watching them. I'm watching both fucking players, you piece of shit. Um, Keating Zero. Ah, the early days of streaming career when you can even have a chance at a quiet chat. Yeah, I know. Mucky Ducky says, on my screen, the LKW are highlighted. What do you mean highlighted? You mean they're yellow? <laughs> I mean, they are yellow, that's true. The yellow does jump out at you. I love I love this yellow, by the way. I wish I had the pink on the uh, Soviets, because the, the pink and the yellow are just mm, so good. Best thing in the game. And now both players have doctrines. What did the Soviets pick? Hmm, T3045 doctrine. Good. Knows the way to straight to my heart. A man who knows the way to my heart. It'd be cool if there was something that could just like blow this up, just like a like a like I'm thinking like a mortar. <laughs> Too far, but I'm thinking a mortar. Oh, I don't want to see what happens to these conscripts. It's gonna be ugly. Boof, boof, I'm a goof. They got boof, my goofed straight up the loof. Like not even. And there was a uh, the right tit for tat, <laughs> tit for tat. Uh, people fucking blown up by a demo charge. This is just so brutal. I can almost not bear it. Immature rage says no. Get out of the house. Get out of the house, Maxim. There is a demo. Well, your your please fell on deaf ears because uh, it's like a horror movie where you're saying no, don't do the thing. Oh, that three. It's, it's, everybody's dying. Jesus, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Everybody's dying. What's over here? Are these new? These gotta be new. Fashion makers. Yep, called straight in. That's cool. Grab that fuel right back. Not going to be able to link it up for a while, but still cool. Um, Mucky Ducky says, not being an ass bro, weird bug. What do you mean? How can they be highlighted on your screen? You're watching the same Twitch stream as the rest of us. I'm sorry I'm being a jerk to you, but uh, uh, it was because I was confused about what you were saying, and it's still not making any sense. And here's tier four, right in the German base. That's, you know, a sign of a, either cautious German player or a German player who's on the back foot can't get tier four up in an interesting position. I think this is actually typically the better choice to build it where it's not gonna get itself fucking killed. But um, you do, it is, you know, a risk reward thing. It's so tempting just to build it out where the gun's gonna get some work out. And this guy just loves touching that gun. He loves the cool, the steel of, the feel of cold hard steel under his fingers. Um, immature Rage says, how the crew not see the demo that stepped over IRL? I don't wanna talk about that. Nothing makes sense in real life. Anybody floating anything? 
figure German's flowing a bit. German's flowing a bit. Maybe thinking about a king tiger somewhere, somewhere in the future. Evil Tribble says Tycho keeps switching. Look at the text structure UI at any given time. Okay, whatever. I can't. I I I can't even like consciously switch between the two. I don't even pay attention. I'm just clicking on everybody's units and so on. See, like I click on this guy, I click on this guy, etc. etc. Nice, uh, nice skeleton coming in, getting shot at by the AA half track. Shoot that shit down. You'd think this would be better at shooting down planes because they're so fucking close, but nope. Would like to see these this is set up or something. Maybe bombarding this thing could be cool. I guess the mortars got that job. Just constantly bombarding. This is looking kind of ugly for the German. I mean, maybe there's a king tiger or a panther in the future or something, but for now, even with this good infantry, it's just the Soviets making a lot of stuff happen, capturing a lot of stuff on the map, has much better income. Notice 47 versus 37 munitions and 29 versus 16 fuel. Um, although this is this is on a razor's edge for the Soviets. All the stuff, like the strongest thing is the T-70, so that can easily be wiped out pretty fast. And so then things can just flip pretty quickly if the Soviet doesn't uh, keep, keep, uh, keep a good handle on uh, how this is going. How many kills on the meet 16? That is not a uh, tiny, especially two vehicles. I don't know how that makes any sense. Maybe it got the kill on this Panzer II technically, but it's not easy to keep these things alive in the world of Rakenton Verfers and Panzer IIs, so uh, especially when you're using them enough to get uh, 19 kills on them. Nice kill, by the way, on that retreat. Um, so you got to give huge props to the Soviet player uh, for doing that sort of thing. And the Foshima, you can't give huge props to the Soviet player for keeping the conscripts alive because they was just being fucking shredded. Um, that's sad to see. What are these doctrines? Or are these bulletins? Cool. These guys just riding dirty, doing some drive bys. There's a Shrek. But uh, too little, too late, it's looking like. Got some good manpower damage in. Oh, nice, uh, nice for Kevin Perfect. I wasn't even paying attention. Looks like it's gonna get out, but uh, for how long? Ooh, calls in. Oh my Jesus, Jesus Christ! Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. I've been turned Australian by the by the sheer brutal destructive power of that IS2 strafing run. IL2, sorry, I don't know why I said IL2. IS2. I know it's an IL2. That's just that's just crazy. And wow, wow, what a fucking boss! You're gonna get fousted. You're gonna die, and you're gonna get fousted and die. But they're suppressed, and they gotta retreat. Wow, how did the Soviet player know that would work? They couldn't have known that would work. But it was just a fucking, just get the hell. Oh my God, it's killing everything. It's the humanity, the humanity. We got ourselves a Hindenburg moment. Oh Jesus! It killed the tech truck earlier too. The tech truck. Was it just a tech truck driving out in the middle of nowhere? It wasn't like a legit truck that had already teched up. It was probably just a supply truck. And it's the King Tiger. I called it. Tiger called it. That was a nice move, nice move right there, moving the King Tiger body so that the turret swiveled around so it could shoot the T-70. And uh, boomo! Blammo, whammo, shlammo, bajammo. These guys running in, sprinting in to get some... Uh, AT grenades, and this is actually a painful place for the King Tiger to be because there's these AT guns here. But the uh, Ura runs out too early. The King Tiger can now just massacre these guys as they run up. So that was a nice try by the Russians, but not happening. And so now the German is straight back in here, but took a lot of bad losses right there. So that's uh, that's ugly. And uh, we're 28 minutes, 28 seconds in. Not anymore, but we were when I looked at the clock. And that's fortuitous, my friends. That's very, very fortuitous. The same number repeated twice is a locus of power. That's why I've got the numbers 28 and 28 tattooed on each of my testicles. Are those supposed to be shells falling out? Casings? Yeah, they're just supposed to be casings that are like really hot. And so they got like steam, but it just looks really bad. It looks like it's weeping. Um, Mucky Ducky says, if you stream rewind, allies should always be light color. What do you mean light color? One's red and one's yellow. Very strange, very strange. It's all a mystery. Oh look, it's an IS-2! I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Well, how would you rate your excitement on a scale of 1 to 10? Wrong! The answer is 11. This is a big fuck-off tank. This is a big fuck-off tank. 
And soon they're gonna go mano a mano. Oh man, this is almost 420 smoke weed every day, dank memes. Big missed opportunity there, Relic. Are you gonna kill this? I mean, that's the plan. Chances are it's not gonna happen, but it's definitely the plan. It's definite. Oh, then there's AT guns. Um, seeing as the conscripts just got here, I uh, I really would have taken that. I would not have killed that. I really would have taken that. You're up against a KT. You need all the help you can get. Very strange. Immature Rage actually wrote 11 in chat. So that's cool. What was that? What was that shot? Was that a King Tiger's shot just fucking pissing into nowhere? What is this green shit coming in? This is the Stuka Recon. What is this going on? I think it's the Stuka Recon. I don't know what that green shit is. Well, this IS-2 is really out in the middle of nowhere. It's probably gonna, yeah, it's shooting these infantry. That's a good choice. Oh, nice. Only two kills though, but still nice. Um, but this is bad. Get your IS-2 to fuck out of there. You're not gonna win this fight because there's these little dipshits right there. They're all they're all one sort of weird creature right now. Look at that. It's like fucking. It's like a glitchy. That actually is a really cool effect. Um, weird. But yeah, you're not gonna win that fight, obviously, because they're getting repaired. Um, the Soviets have this radio intercept, so they know exactly what the uh, Germans are doing. Um, and the Germans are getting owned by this uh, half track. 25 kills, vet 3. Um, what do you get? Battle hunting, vehicle sighting, and reinforcement radius. Oh, right, I can't remember. Those guys are fucking running! Look at him! Look at him! Woo! Woo! Cool runnings, Jamaican bobsled team. He's dead. German's not very but Jamaican, come to think of it. Um, Mucky Ducky says, because that's always been the default in high known players like Hans or Vaughn. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, who's gonna win, guys? This is tough. This is a toughie. Tuffy McGuffy. Look at the- oh, the cover is backfiring because you're getting flamed. <laughs> this is the- remember, this is the flamethrower stolen from the combat engineers long ago. Fox creators are great carriers for it because they got five people in the squad. Makes them uh, pretty great. This Maxim is brand newish, but uh, I'm suppressing some these guys. Where's the IS-2 being repaired? Back in- not back in base, way out in the front lines, and the KT is coming. Uh, to wreck some faces. Oh wow, it gets hit by a T gun from the side, I suppose. What, where, what hit that? Oh, it was the AT gun down here. Two AT guns! This could get bad. This could get bad. They're not penetrating, which is very good for the KT, and actually they need to move, so. Um, Soviet player, I was expecting to maybe a bit, be a bit ballsier, bringing the IS-2, trying to hold off the KT with the uh, AT guns, but playing it safe is probably a good thing. Uh, what you really want was the German player to just get infected with bloodlust there, blood there, and chase your uh, AT guns with all their stuff, and then get drawn in. The infantry could get wiped by the ZSU, and the tank could get wiped by the IS-2, but the German player, not that dumb. So... Uh, LOL, you don't know Hans? No, obviously, Mucky Ducky, I know Hans. I just don't ever watch Hans. Um, Stormless? No, it's, I've clearly I've seen these people uh, as names, but I don't watch them because uh, they're uh, not... Uh, they stream too much. I can't watch all of them. So that was painful. That was like a frangible grenade, right, from the... Uh, not a frangible grenade, but that was whatever the fuck they got. Anyways, the squad is dead. Now the KT is in the fight with the IS-2. The, here come the anti-tank guns too. This is a chance for the Soviet player to make up for that dead conscript squad, which is unfortunate because they, uh, I guess they gave their lives, no, they didn't give their lives, uh, getting the, uh, engine. The engine is not damaged on that thing, so, uh, Soviet's doing pretty well in this fight. The damage is about even, so you're like, why are the Soviets doing well? But remember, they got the more backup in terms of the AT guns. Here comes the Sturm Pioneer squad. Is the, uh, half-track gonna try and cut them off? It's too far away, so... Oh no, it's not too far away, but, uh, I don't know if I have my side focused on that. This is getting some good damage, and I think this is a good play by the Soviet player. Uh, here, just with these two AT guns, you know the eventual outcome is going to be either a win for you or a retreat for the kid, King Tiger. So you know you can just uh, set up shop here with the eyes to really crack some face. Where the uh, engineers would be nice to see them uh, moving over to repair, but instead they got the cutoff. Whatever, whatever. Um, cool. MG34 still hasn't been picked up for those keeping track at home. 
Yeah, these guys, so, I mean, it's nice to get this cut off, to get the strategic point or whatever, but the IS-2 repairs are a sort of priority here, and um, they don't have the crew repair vehicle yet. Um, I guess he must not be in combat. Okay, so I guess you don't, that's not what you get a vet to. Man, vet one is secure mode as if anyone would ever use the IS-2 to cap. Um, but yeah, so since you know your opponent's just got like the Fashion Makers and stuff, the shelf life on these combat engineers capping over here in the middle of nowhere, uh, close to the enemy base, is pretty low, so I would have just retasked them to the IS-2 instantly, but whatever, Stuka, please turn this around, says Immature, whatever. Um, well, Stuka's Fuse, we've seen it do some pretty impressive stuff in some of these previous shoutcasts. Go back and watch uh, the thing whose name I can't remember, and that was a pretty cool Stuka, but... Um, Still didn't win the game. Sorry, spoiler alert. For that, for that game. How's this thing doing? 26 kills. Just chilling out. Chilling like a villain. Is this firing yet? Is this firing yet? Do it. Do it. How's it going over here? I'm not gonna get your flamethrower back this time. What the? Special Rifle Command completed. So, why was this built? Is it for a sniper? Is it for... A half-track to reinforce in the field? There's the Stuka. Is it for the Penals? Penals not the worst, I feel like, in this situation. <laughs> they're, uh, they're infantry that can fight. And you don't really have infantry that can fight, you don't have guards, and you don't have uh, shock troops. So maybe it's for the penals. But, so, I mean, actually I think Sniper's not maybe a great choice here, just because the Fashion Makers can open up and uh, kill them all. This IS-2 fighting the King Tiger, where it's not by the two ZIS guns, is not maybe the best choice I've ever seen in the world. The King Tiger is literally at full health, the IS-2 is literally at half health. Um, we have fucking Strafing coming in to try and... Uh, Take these, keep these people away from the recently decreed maximum, I suspect, or something like that. Um, Soviet player now bringing everything into this fight because of the King Tiger. This could turn out to be an amazing bait with the IS-2, but this is just so dangerous. Why are you driving forward with this? What is wrong with you, my friend? Tell me what is wrong with you in two words or less. But getting super lucky, two shots in a row have failed to penetrate uh, the front of this IS-2 from the King Tiger, and that means the AT guns are able to move up, get some good shots in, and suddenly things are looking good. And we do have um, nearby... I was thinking nearby engineers to repair, and we do. Oh, it was for the sniper. So, uh, tier one for the sniper. Strange. Sherlock says, I just did nothing all game and penetrated even less. Uh, it's done a lot all game. It hasn't killed a ton of things, although seven kills is really not bad. Um, mostly, it's been countering the King Tiger. I know you, you, Sherlock made a little uh, little tongue face, so Sherlock was being sarcastic. But, um, Mucky Ducky says, you can get props, bro message them for a stream. I, everything you say does not make sense to me. I don't understand. Speak English, please. Um, I think Mucky Ducky says I'm like a brand new person to the company heroes. Or thinks I'm like a brand new person to the company heroes community. So like I'm a brand new guy. Because some people only hang out on Twitch. They don't, uh, they don't know. There's more stuff than Twitch, but there is more stuff than Twitch. I've been casting Company Heroes 2 since it was Company Heroes 1, my friend. I don't need to message Hans for anything. Oh, this is going to be ugly. All these AT guns are going to die. Okay. That was like a weird spread. I was expecting a tighter grouping, and I was expecting something to die. Nothing died, and now this dies. That's what happens now. Wow. Weird, strange, odd, sad, uh, unfortunate. Very, very, very weird. Strange, odd, sad, unfortunate. That was just... That was definitely in the top... 250 bizarre moments I've seen. Um, and we have double snipers! One kill on the females and zero kills on the males. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, Jesus, wow, what a what a weird role reversal. German's still in this game, obviously, with the King Tiger and the free repairs on the King Tiger from this thing, but um, Soviet player, I just, you know, massive props. Props the size of my dick, my friends. Uh, Evil Tribble says throw. <laughs> it wasn't throw. That was that was a cool that was a cool barrage right there from the Stukas of Fuse. It just didn't land in any sort of pattern that you might have expected. It didn't kill anything, and then didn't reverse in time. 
Man, this looks like um, it's like an old, overgrown thing. It's like the wreck has been here for many, many years, and the, the forest has reclaimed it. Uh, immature GG allies win again. Hey, you can't uh, you can't call it yet. Mucky Ducky says you sound like a good streamer. Your mom sounds like a good streamer. I'm just now being unnecessarily aggressive to this Mucky Ducky guy. Um, snipers. So they're moving around in packs of four, or I guess packs of two if you count the squad as one. This could get ugly if they uh they run into the Foshy Makers. Let's watch. Let's watch. Up oh, up. Oh, Foshy Makers uncloak. So now they're gonna get fucked. Up oh, another cloaking. Up oh, up 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 up. It's cat and mouse. So now the conscripts are like, we will be your friends. We will reveal the, uh, the, uh, the Fulci makers for you. And then you will shoot them and we will all be good. And it's working out pretty well, especially because the conscripts have managed to get a kill. That's surprising everybody. And that's going to be the end of the squad. Except they both, I think, fired simultaneously at the same guy, so that's unfortunate. Uh, throw a frangible grenade or the fuck. Um, Mucky Ducky says, my mom's dead, bro. I apologize, but I was talking about um, your mom more uh, colloquially rather than your actual mom. Uh, so, uh, snipers forced off immediately by the King Tiger showing up. That was a cool play versus those Falsham Magers, but uh, the snipers kind of fucked it up. You want to snagger your sniper shots, set one of them to hold fire, let the first sniper fire, then let the second sniper take it off, hold fire, and fire. Speaking of fire, here's some fire in a pyre. What a mire. There's more fire. This is dire. Uh, here comes a strafing run. Right? Right? Here comes the IL-2! Here comes the IL-2! Here comes the IL-2! Yee, yeah, getting some revenge for that stolen uh, flamethrower, but not enough. And that's a frangible grenade if I ever didn't know it's a cluster. Why do I keep calling them frangibles? They're not frangibles unless there's fucking smoke, Tycho. You're a fucking idiot. You're like an idiot, and the Fox Raiders are just healing themselves because they have Vet 3, which is hilarious. The strafing run turns out to have done nothing. Surprise, IL-2. You are a poo. Um, Mucky Ducky says you got subscribed. I actually don't know. Can you subscribe to Twitch channels just any time, or do you have to? Does something have to happen first? Do I have to have enough followers first? If you have to have enough followers, then probably I don't have to subscribe because I don't have any followers. I just started streaming the other day. Um, but if I do have subscribed, then sure, I have subscribed. I don't know. It's all a mystery to me. You can just subscribe to me on YouTube. That doesn't cost any money, so that's a much better subscription. Just scroll down on my Twitch page, find your, uh, find my YouTube thing. You can join the other 6,000 subscribers. Um, so, this could be the Soviet player throwing right here. Where are the AT guns? There they are. There they are. That's the AT guns we know and love. These guys can't do anything because they don't have the Panzerfaust. They don't have enough resources. That's really depressing. Uh, these guys, do they have? They do have the AT grenade. This could be the end for the KT, except... Jesus, look at all the shit. Those, this forest slash hedge is gonna save the KT, it looks like. Oh, oh they don't get the AT grenade off. So that's crazy. Um, you set it up. You need partner status, says Gherkin Kaiser. Thank you, great. So I'm sure I don't have partner status. I'm not sure how you get partner status on Twitch, but whatever it takes, I'm sure I don't have it because I've been streaming for like three days. So, um, yeah, just chill your, chill your bill, mucky ducky, subscribe to me on YouTube. Hopefully I'll keep streaming, get partner status on Twitch, and then it'll all be cool to go. Does anyone know what it takes to get partner status on Twitch? Bunch of followers, maybe? I feel like my follower count does not go up uh, very much today. It's still at 113. So everybody follow if you're watching me. If you're watching me on YouTube, go follow my Twitch channel. Maybe that's how I get to be a Twitch partner. This IS2 is really hurt. I feel like I've asked people to do a lot of stuff this shoutcast. I normally don't ask people to do anything except go fuck themselves, so this is uh, this is an extremely beggy cast, and I apologize uh, to that. You need a significant number of unique viewers, says Gergen Kaiser. Unique, like, interesting personalities? Because I feel like I'm doing pretty well along those lines. I don't know why you drive your eyes to here. You're kind of asking for a Faust, but surprisingly you don't have the mean Oh, now you have the munitions. Is he going to Faust? Is he going to Faust? He's gonna Faust? He's gonna Faust. He's gonna Faust. Here comes the Faust. Boom! And it kills the engine, but not the IS-2. Uh, we have an IL-2 coming in here, not doing a lot. Looks like the IS-2 is probably gonna get out. That was so risky. I can't believe the Soviet player did this. And here comes the King Tiger. This could be bad news. This could be really bad news. This could be bad news bears with fucking, um... What's the guy's name? The actor's name? 
Billy Bob Thornton. This could be bad news bears with Billy Bob Thornton, especially because I think that was the engineer squad that just got killed. So this is going to be slower to repair. Um, uh, Jesus, Twitch chat is fucking exploding about what I need to do get fucking subscribers or whatever, so I don't give a shit, but uh, great. And yeah, we're rebuilding those engineers because they died, then rebuilding some conscripts, so a little strange to be rebuilding the conscripts when you get the penal battalion, but uh, okay, okay, I guess I, I guess I, I don't know, I like conscripts, conscripts are my favorite, so okay. The thing is, the other thing about building the peanut battalion is that you can build them simultaneously with the combat engineer. So, you know, just save yourself 10 seconds. Um, cool. Oof. King Tiger, is, King Tiger is feeling high and mighty because uh, the IS-2 it knows is at really low health, so it can just drive out into the field to start killing some people. So that's actually going to be some bad news for the Soviets if these AT guns... Oh, just kidding, the AT guns aren't set up. So I was about to say, if the AT guns aren't set up to... Uh, do anything about it, but they are set up. How are the? I heard a mortar. No, it's an infantry support gun with zero kills, straight on the map, trying to get some AT gun pickoffs. Assuming that's what it's for. Um, Twitch chat still talk about financials, guys. I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for the pussy. Clearly. Uh, oof. What's this? MG34. Since one of you existed, are you brand new? Are you recruit? There was the MG34 over here. Maybe it's that one recruit. Stand your ground! There's really no need to stand your ground. You should just retreat and let the snipers show up. Are the snipers getting bombarded by the- Yep, by the infantry support gun. Strange, strange targets for the infantry support gun. You're, oh, you lost the conscript squad. Ugh, ugh, it's those kind of things that get ya. And now we have a panther coming out. It's those kind of things that get you. And it's a Katusha coming out. It's those kind of things that get you. I don't know. I don't know about the Katusha. You have tier 4, remember. In fact, that's how you're getting the Katusha. So that could just be T-34 85s. Like, you've got the Doctrine for it. It's such a good tank. It's such a good tank. You've got this stuff. Nice. Wiping out that those guys and with these snipers. And maybe wipe out these guys too. But it's such a good tank. Yeah, I would really like to see that at this point, but uh, what am I? I'm not the Soviet player. I would have lost 20 minutes ago. Oh, that's what happens when you build snipers. That's why I was dubious about snipers in the first place. The Fosh Invaders don't give a fuck about snipers. Increases squad effective weapon range and weapon accuracy. That must really own snipers. But here's the IS-2. To, to, uh, oh, why are you not? Mm, mm, I would have taken one pot shot at these guys. Wiping the squad would have been worth it. Uh-oh, here's the Panther. Not too bad, because there's the two AT guns here, but this is kind of a big deal. Uh, that was a rear armor hit. That's a really bad, really bad. This is getting ugly. This is getting ugly. Uh, you need, you need Katusha's up. Katusha's, oh, could actually fire. Uh, come to think of it, if you manage to snare these guys with these conscripts. But, well, so, good. Uh, ZIS saves the, uh, saves the day. ZIS 2. Um, IL2 Sherlock says it's brand new. He built a new one. Oh, new MG34. Interesting. What happened to the hero anti-aircraft half-track? That's a great point. I have no fucking clue. Mucky Ducky says let's make him great. Good scream. Great. Uh, suck each other's dicks. I'm a big fan of you too, buddy. Um, flamethrower on the ground. It looks so sad and abandoned. Did they really look like rifles? I'm sure they must have. Cool. Looks kind of like a shotgun too. Interesting. Very, very interesting. What's this? It's a Maxim. Great, my curiosity has been satisfied. Oh no, these conscripts are gonna get. Thought I don't even want to watch. I'm, I'm, I want to close my eyes, but I want to keep looking. I can't turn away. Oof! It's like um, Plato, in what was it? Maybe the Republic was actually had that part, but it might have been one of the other dialogues where he has one of the characters talk about where he walks by a city where there's dead people outside the walls and he can't close his eyes and he rebukes himself for it. And this was Socrates quoting some guy um we're kind of deep in the depths here is2 maybe gonna get killed by the panther this could get bad but the at guns are here to cut off the panther's retreat are there oh it's dead it's dead and we don't have any t3485s coming out yet because we don't even have the manpower that's really unfortunate the conscripts were not around to at grenade the panther which means it's gonna get out scot-free that's the thing. This Katusha is just... It's at zero kills. This, I think, is either the first or second barrage. I don't know about the Katusha. I wanted some T-3485s, my friend. Don't you understand? Oh, the shit on a stick. 
being sold at a concession stand to unwitting patrons. That was just bad. That was the last stuff that could repair anything in this godforsaken hellhole. Although, the Germans are down to 25 points, VPs, and the Germans don't have a lot to capture the VPs when there's a sniper trying to stop them. But the Russians are down to almost nothing too. Jesus, this is crazy. This is crazy. Oof. This is crazy, my friends. Russian maybe gave up the IS-2 because he figured he had won, and he maybe has won, but these Vet-5 folks right here are just going to fucking waltz in and kill everybody. I don't know what these conscripts are doing. They're trying to get in the cap zone to stop the cap and also get the flamethrower, but then they have to immediately retreat, which means this is going to get capped. This has been capped over the Germans, so the Germans stop the bleed at 8 VPs, 7 VPs, 6 VPs. Six VP. Okay, it stopped at six VP. I was holding my breath away to say five VPs, but no, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be five VPs for a while. Um, holy shit! Is the Russian player gonna lose this? Is the Russian player gonna lose this at six VPs? Tiny Raptor one says he was way too laissez-faire with his IS two all game. So I think it's a low blow accusing a communist of being laissez-faire, but I totally understand what you're saying. Uh, wow, what a Katusha brush. And um. I, yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. A lot of that, I think, was sort of clever baiting to get the King Tiger in a position for the AT guns to kick him. But um, he, he really could have backed up that laissez-faire usage with like a T-34 or 85. It would have made it much easier to be uh, kind of a nutcase with the IS-2 like that. And you're totally right. And Eventually, the god has come up and IS-2 died and uh, maybe going to pay for it. But the German player does have a kind of big uphill thing. We have another IS-2 called in. And the German player has to uh, drain 200 VPs from this guy. Talk about lazy fare with IS-2s. Here we go. Here we go. We got a Vet 3 versus a Vet nothing. Both at half health. Where are these AT guns, my friend? They're both at Vet 3 themselves. Why do they get a Vet 3? Rate of fire and target pattern. That is good versus the King Tiger. This is being lazy fare. Oh, but they're set up and they have such long range. They have such long range! And this misses its last shot on the KT, so that's unfortunate. And now it's gonna wipe the Fox Raiders, so that's good. Oh, misses even versus the Fox Raiders. Get this shit, shit some vet. This needs some combat engineers. Doesn't even have combat engineers. Doesn't even have the manpower for combat engineers. Really should not have driven this up before the uh, these things were in position. Do we have still the Stuka where? The, oh no, the walking Stuka died long ago over here. Stuka's a fuse. Great. Mucky Ducky says, Nah, GG Soviets, you push for one cap. I mean, yes, but look, it's hard. It's hard. He doesn't have a lot of Vet 3 infantry. Mm, if he can kill this squad, it'll be less hard. Oof, but look, they're just they're just getting owned by this German infantry, which is totally understandable, because the German infantry is good shit. There's the sniper, which is really important. 24 kills, but, um... 25 kills, but look, the Soviets just lost another infantry squad here. It's a meat grinder. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, and we're already 20% or 10%, 20 VPs down of the 200 that you gotta drain. Sherlock says the IS-2 is so bad it doesn't even kill. No, the IS-2 is not so bad. It's not a King Tiger, but come on. It doesn't cost what a King Tiger costs, I don't think. It maybe it does. It's not so bad. <laughs> Really, really down to not a lot of tools on the Soviet side. These two triple bet AT guns are the saving grace, which means the King Tiger can't just come in and kill everything, but um, German player definitely sweating bullets, but not sweating so many bullets, really. It's, uh, it's, it's, this is an exciting game, folks. I hope you're as excited. Here comes the Katusha. Blam, blam, blah, bam. Too far, too much of a range to do anything, although that was a pretty tight grouping. It's doing literally fuck all. Oh no. Rip in peace. Whoop, gonna get out? Gonna get out? Yeah, probably out of sight range now. Well, obviously the sniper can see, but... Whew, that was nearly really bad. You can't lose your squads at this point. Ooh, nice reveal! Nice reveal. I guess you know that there's someone there because they're capping. But yeah, you just fuck this shit up. Yeah, look at that. Close range. Ooh, so brutal. Bam, bam, bam. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Whew, and that guy's just like, fuck it. Okay, here we go again. One more Soviet push in the center. Can you make it happen? IS-2, getting a little pot shots. How's the repairs going? Where are these fuckers? Why are these guys here? Why aren't you repairing the IS-2? What is wrong with you? What is your major malfunction? Uh, are they, are they going to frangible grenade or bundle grenade or both the AT guns? Oop, whoop, too late. They're just going to shoot them because they've got five. But they're going to get shot by the IS-2. So I don't know what the plan is there. Maybe they can kill a one AT gun? 
Uh, signs point to no. Oh, but they're cloaked. That's good. Where's the sniper? Sniper really needs to have been up there or shooting. Those guys, these can't die. You can't lose your combat engineers. Look, you don't have the manpower to keep fucking losing combat engineers. What are you doing with this? What are you doing with this? What is the plan right there? What is the deal with IS-2s? You just drive them straight at the enemy and get them blown up. Uh, but as I'm complaining about this, it's actually fine. It's just backing out and the King Tiger's actually getting itself butt fucked. So, uh, surprise. Uh, surprise. Everybody's surprised. There's actually a panther here, but the panther is fucked up too. How's the panther? I think the panther actually never really got repaired enough. Oh! See, I told you the ice two can kill infantry. I actually didn't explicitly said that. I just said it wasn't bad, and that was, uh, the Vet 5, uh, Fallschirmager squad. And so the panther is like, fuck this shit, I'm getting some revenge, and that realizes, wait, I can just get killed in one hit, so I need to go. And there's AT guns, and now there's an it. Uh, machine gun here, and the Soviet player can taste it, can taste it, and it tastes like strawberries covered in German blood, and the Katusha's just like, let's make uh, this area safe, and come in nice, nice rockets, getting some re kills on the retreat, uh, but really that barrage was just to force the retreat, make the area safe, and here come the com conscript squad to cap the thing, and this could be GG right here, except the Strampanios probably are going to last pretty good versus those that to go oh, maybe not they're gonna die well at least they're stopping the capping for now whoop uh, but the ice 2 is here Whew. talk about being lazy fair with the ice 2 zombie francis i was expecting fast kill ice 2 instead ice 2 wipes false uh tiny raptor he is so lucky with ice 2 healthy fight have to agree with you there um oh look the germans decapping so it's not over yet folks it's not over until the vps reach zero or other uh, victory conditions of 10. Um, but ammo! See, IS-2 can shoot infantry. IS-2 shoots it. Oh, no! And the German makes a wonderful push in the middle with the infantry because there's nothing to hold him off. Maybe a sniper, but um, sniper not able to do much about that. Up to 31 kills. Pretty good. 32 kills. Um, hoof! Holy shit, my friends. Holy shit. How many kills on the Katusha? Seven. Although it's hard to measure its impact. Just and we have another sniper being built. Crazy. 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 Zombie Francis. Less in the game. When in doubt, be lucky. That's how Company of Heroes works. That is exactly the lesson of every game. Oy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Soviets now have the left VP. Except they maybe can't hold it. Well, they can hold it. Because they've got this. Swivel. And fire. Oh, it misses. The AT guns are like, we can help. Oh no, they're shooting at the Rakhine. Why are you shooting the Rakhine River? You can take that. You've got conscript squad. These guys are dirt fucking cheap. They're sitting at home, fiddling with their dicks. They could just take that and retreat. I guess you don't have the manpower to really sustain that. That's understandable. But... Oh, Maxim setting up. Oh, nice. See, using the Rakhine Rivers like this, it's an interesting tactical move from the Germans resetting up. That's unfortunate. Getting burned now. Um, interesting tactical move from the Germans. Uh, I, th I think it's actually kind of counterproductive if you end up losing uh, those things, uh, you, like you lost the one on the left, because it's really nice to have them around versus the IS-2, um, and if you don't, it's kind of uh, it's kind of bad, and they uh, paying, losing the Maxim, don't know if I would have thrown the Maxim, but the, the Soviet player is just like, fucking let me cap this point and let me win this game, I am so close to doing this, I can taste it, it tastes again, I reiterate, like strawberries, but, um, our camp is just like I'm just I'm just here to cap the point, guys. I'm not doing anything. I'm basically set to hold fire. I just I'm an observer. Don't shoot me. Oh, that was a king tiger shown. That's still a king tiger. It is still the king of the tigers and of a number of other. Oh, there goes a the squad. I'm just this is I'm I'm just sitting back and watching stuff die at this point. If you lose your uh, engineer squad, you're going to be able to repair your IS2 at 50% of the original speed. Because uh, now you can only have this thing. And these guys are even going to die, potentially. Because why do they have minesweepers? That's so bizarre. Uh, oh, and a Katusha. Just, uh, just way too late to matter. Kills some, again, kills some good people. Really, its value here is forcing the retreat. Oh, whoa, whoa, the sniper. The sniper on the right, capping the point. Now we're down to four VPs. No way these folks right here are going to get this VP. Nobody's even over here. Nobody's even over here. That's GG. That's GG. We're down to two VPs. They squish even. A, what a wonderful ending. A squish 
for the end in a big sploosh like a Shamu fucking sploosh. And holy shit, my friends, almost an hour long game. I am happy with that. Tiny Raptor one says Ad Tycho agrees with me. I don't know who Ad Tycho is. He sounds like kind of an asshole. But uh, hoof, I am so happy I decided to shoutcast this one. Uh, thank you, YouTubers, for watching. I'll cut this off now because it's been so long. Goodbye.